Hi, my name is Eric Butler, and I am the first of a number of people who will be telling you the story of the Blackstone Canal and how it impacted Worcester, Massachusetts, changing it from a small town and farming community into the second largest city and a major industrial center in New England. Welcome back to Worcester, Massachusetts in 1800, where our story begins. As you can see from this painting, Worcester and the surrounding area was primarily a farming community in 1800. Look at the large fields and woodlands that made up the landscape. There are stone walls in the distance and you can see grazing sheep and cows. There are small clusters of buildings, homes, farms, and perhaps public buildings, which dot the landscape. This was painted in the fall when the weather was warm and people were working in the fields. We are looking out from a hill in Leicester, a town bordering Worcester to the west, at the town of Worcester and beyond. The painting was painted by Ralph Earle. Workers are haying in the foreground. Notice how they are dressed in white shirts and pants with black hats. Two women also dressed in white stroll across the field. You can see two church steeples in the distance. The largest one is on the site of what is now City Hall in Worcester. The dirt road you see leads into Worcester Today, it is still Main Street in Worcester. It was a dirt road in 1800. It was also part of the Boston Post Road, known for connecting Boston and New York City. Initially built for mail or post delivery, when a single rider would travel along this road, it became the route for travelers in horse-drawn wagons and stagecoaches, which would stop at inns for a meal or an evening's lodging along the way. There are no street signs to be seen, Homes and other buildings were lit by candlelight. The population of Worcester in 1800 was approximately 2,400, a far cry from the 187,000 that live here today. It was incorporated as a town on June 14, 1722, but did not become a city until February 29, 1848. This was a time and place when you knew all your neighbors. Worcester was landlocked situated in central Massachusetts, 40 miles west of Boston and 40 miles north of Providence, both coastal cities which connected them to trade routes. They were isolated from the wider world. In addition to farming, people worked from home in cottage industries producing goods on a small scale. They included spinners and weavers making wool, carpenters making furniture, potters and blacksmiths, along with others. However, around this time, factories producing textiles were opening along the nearby Blackstone River. They needed raw material and wanted to develop a greater market for their finished products. It took many hours over roads that were not always in good condition, and it was very expensive to transport anything to or from either Boston or Providence. Mill owners wanted a less expensive way to accomplish this and make their businesses more profitable. The idea of building a canal from Worcester to Providence Harbor was first proposed in 1796. It was defeated by the Massachusetts legislature upon opposition by Boston merchants. However, it was proposed again in 1822 and passed. The Blackstone Canal opened on October 7, 1828 and connected Worcester to Providence into the wider world of international trade. This was the start of the Industrial Revolution which brought many changes to the town of Worcester in the Blackstone River Valley.